get left there. Well, come on over here, girl. Come on over here, girl. Come on up here. Come on up here. Hey. Hey. I figure I beat Nico House. He got he rescued her. Ooh, ha, ha. He rescued a kitten. Hey, but we we bought a dog. Wow. Here's the way it goes, look. Dogs are born in township all the time. We're in the location here. The pet day all the time. And uh, there you go. Look at you. Look at you. Clean those out your eyes. Look at you. Anyway, so our, ne our neighbor across the way had, well, the dog had two dogs, two puppies, a boy and a girl. This is a girl. Look at you. Look at you. Why are you, why are you trying to lick me now? You never lick me. I don't like dogs licking me. I'm not like a white guy, white woman, white whatever, and they kiss dogs. Oh, 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 oh. Baby, you got to come and take this puppy. We name her Windy, like W-I-N-D-Y or I-E, whatever, because she winds herself around things all the time. She's too excited things. now. Yeah, she's way too excited. Yeah, so we're excited now. Come, baby. Yeah, we just got home. That's come the on thing. Me. You know, when yeah. we used to get home, too, that's the thing. Come on, okay, come. Girl, I got to talk to the people. Bye, Windy. Mm -hmm. See you later. Later. Yeah. Now, you know, I walked her this morning. Did I tell you I walked her this morning wanted yeah. to see her mother and her brother? Yeah. And she said she's, she's still suckling the, the mother's teeth, so that's probably why I put over there. Oh, well, that was exhausting. Hey, I'm going to listen some drinking now. Oh, don't judge. Hey, what time is it, baby? It's late. It's the afternoon. Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, it's late. Anyway, it's that time. Make like I'm, make like, a, let me see what the white, make like I'm a white guy coming home and I need my highball or something like that. Right? Amarula is a fruit that comes from a tree, and there's no because the elephants like that fruit. Elephants, elephants eat anything, it doesn't matter, not anything, but they eat the, that's why they got the elephant on there. I'm not trying to advertise these people, but it's, a, it's like a, a cream, a cream amarula fruit. There's a lot of knockoffs now, they started at first, and I usually take these things right here, and I just you know, put them on my thing over here, I'll do that later. Anyway, so look. I need to talk about white people, or white men, or whatever it is. Let me pull on my glasses so I don't know it's me, you know. Now see, I'm not, I'm, I'm like a, I'm not really a, ah, I'm an animal person, but I'm not, animals come to me, I don't go to them, you know, like that, you know, if the, if the line is over there, I'm going like, hey, enjoy your meal, I keep on going, I'm going to go, hey, let me touch the line, this is what white people do, let me take a picture of the line, whatever, and they get eaten. Anyway. So I was, I, was, I was thinking about this, it's like, okay, we're in Africa right now. Now before the colonialists came, remember the colonialists have a certain way of doing stuff because they, they for whatever you want to call it, environment, lineage, whatever they do, they have a certain way of doing stuff. And so when, when, you, when, when the missionaries came, whatever happened, the first thing they just do it, they did it that way. So if you have the preacher or the priest or whatever there and he's delivering sermons to the swine or whatever it is, then that's what they're there and they're rose and they're sitting down there listening like that. No problem. That's the way they do things. The problem is that when white people come and do something, they come and they alter things without even, I shouldn't say they don't research because they spend a long time seeing what the people are doing. Then they say, how can we make those people do what we want them to do or what we do? Because if they do what we do, then of course we know what we do. Therefore, they'll be doing what we do along with, you see what I'm saying? Anyway, the point is, you know, so, so they had this system, this road system, you know, and, and then the, 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 the structure or whatever, the preacher, the teacher gets in front of the, uh, in front of the people and they're in these roles and they're listening. Because you're in roles, you know, you, you, it's, it's, it's hierarchy, right? Now, before they came, you know, most society, most, I should say that, African societies that I know, they sat in circles, you know? They sat in circles so you could see everybody. They go the same level, you know, da 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 they, You know? Even, remember the Vietnam War when they had the, the priest talks and they were arguing about the shape of the, of, the, of the table? Remember that? You know, I think they came up with an oval finally. I think a lot of executive boardrooms now have ovals. They still they have ovals so the guy can still sit at the top of the Well, it doesn't matter. The point is, they have such vast ways of doing this. Our problem is they created such a system, such a ubiquitous system. I don't know if they use that word right. A system, or all whatever a system, that no matter where you turn, you're, uh, you're under their spell, under their system. And But the system is predicated on one thing. And I, 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 I go forth with my, with my Neely Fuller on this, you know. My Neely Fuller. My Neely Fuller. Mr. Neely Fuller, who wrote this this book, I got the cover here because I got the book in, right? Anyway, so what Neely Fuller says, Neely Fuller Jr. says, he says that system, that entire octopusy system, 
an entire tentacle system has to be replaced because each tentacle is about mistreating people. Mistre it's a system of mistreatment. Now you keep on railing against this tentacle or that tentacle or whatever it is, not, not seeing, the, the, not the head, but seeing the body. Remember, octopus has nine brains or something like that. You know what I mean? And each brain does what each brain does. So that's, that's like the system of Anglo-Racist Anglo white supremacy. It's got all these tentacles and different brains popping up. You know, that's why I say a system of Anglo racist white supremacy, because it could be a system of, you name it, you know, black racist white supremacy. Meaning that the, the, no matter who the, the Anglo, the black, the Indian, the Chinese, the, the whatever, African, you know, Caribbean, whatever it is, is in that spot, they're going to do the bidding of the white supremacist system. That's why in all these places, you know, like these universities and whatever have you, what do they do? They train you in their system. They train you to be a middle class person. Once you become a middle class person, you no longer, you don't even think about the, you know? I mean, how in the world can somebody who, say, uh, became famous at 20 years old, or whatever, 25 years old, at 60, who hasn't been in the, in, in the, in, in their, the, the thing that made him famous in that, in that, that, for like, you know, whatever, 40 years or whatever it is, how can they speak for the people, you understand when they left them behind, you can't do it. So why do we have these, and especially these politicians who, who don't even live in their neighborhoods anymore, uh, and when they take vacations, they don't take vacations back to wherever, or, or create a vacation spot in their neighborhood. They go to some golf course here, or some you know shindig over there, or some spa over there, giving the white people, giving the system the money. So how could, how could, you even, how could we even deal with their advice, where they're, where they're saying something? Somebody like that, just, 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 we just did the, uh, 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 Malefe or something. You know what I mean? That boy's been in academia since at least the, the, the 80s. I met him in the 80s in academia then. You know what I mean? So if you're in academia, how could you even adjust your brain <laughs> to talking about a circumstance that Nipsey Russell, you know, that, that, that Nipsey Hussle came from, whoever. You know what I mean? Or for that matter, uh, you, you're invested in a system that you created, that you're invested in your Afrocentricity, whatever it is, that you're invested in, and you've been pushing that for whatever, how many years, 40, whatever years, and then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, you're going to now say that this other movement coming up is not worthy because you're invested in this. You understand? Like, how are you going You understand what I'm trying to say. So, what I'm trying to do in my non-drunken stupor, my wife is laughing because I never actually drink out the bottle. I'm just doing this for show. You know, it's, it's, I'm always drinking out of the glass. But this is what I'm doing. Hey, can I tell you something? Okay, hold on. I know. I'm, I'm rambling. I, I gotta, baby, make make like, you know, I don't get drunk. But make like I'm drunk. All right? Wait for this? Yeah, I will excuse your baby, you know. Let me tell you a story. I, I, I told you this. I think I told you this before. But when I was 13, about 13, me and Michael Brown lived in the other building. Isn't it? Me and Michael Brown, hey, hang up here. I'm telling you. Every Friday we did the same thing. We went to the liquor store up there, right across from my, my junior high school. Got you know? drunk from cheap alcohol. That's right. What we do <laughs> is we get we, we get our little pennies and ducats together. We had cash bottles or whatever all week. Whatever. Get a little money together. It was less than whatever, less than a dollar for this cheap wine. We would go to to, to you know to the wino on the corner of the wino. We say, hey, buy us a bottle of wine, and you can you know we'll give him enough so he can buy a little something, something. something. He go get us the bottle. He have his bottle. He get our bottle. We go to uh, we, we go, where am I go? Oh, I would go, we go to, uh, uh, Junior High School 149 was my, was my school, my junior high school, by 13 I was in there, yeah, we was in there then. Um, I look, right across from my from the church, St. Anne's Church, <laughs> there was a park, you know, it was, I guess it was PS 18's park, the other, the other elementary school that we didn't go to, I don't, doesn't matter. We would take this bottle of, this pint of cheap wine, I mean, really cheap wine, I think it was like four roses or something, it was cheap, right? <laughs> Between me and him, we would drink down this bottle every Friday without without delay. We would be drunk, drunk? and we'd throw up mm. almost immediately. And it was a joke, up. and you used to make fun of it. And I, can't, I, can't, I you know, yeah. after a while, after what we stopped that behavior. In fact, I didn't, I, I didn't even drink wine until I was like in, in my twenties. But you know, because I still turned off on wine. But the point was. <laughs> We're, st we're young kids, dude. We're fascinating. We just blah, blah, you know? <laughs> Why did we do that? I don't know. I have no idea. The system said that, you know, we, we couldn't drink, so we drink. You know, we're I don't. We're phasing out. 
so let, let me stop rambling now. My point is, do not, especially with alcohol, come on now, alcohol, the bane of our existence. <laughs> It alters you such that you're not even yourself anymore. You get in groups with people and you start fighting, you start cursing, you start all kinds of things. And guess what? That alcohol truck will get into your neighborhood. <laughs> we we got townships where the big trucks will get into the town. The, 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 between the, the soda trucks or I mean, the Coca-Cola, we know the big the big trucks, the alcohol trucks, they're all the same size. They can get into the, into the, into the community, but yet and still, like a library van won't go into, in, in, into the location. The alcohol, the shabine can be delivered to the, to the location, but a library, of, there's no library events to visit the location. Ain't that amazing? That's a system of Anglo-racist white supremacy designed to make sure you have victims on the bottom that you can, and when they run out of victims, on the door, I fear not. Say they wiped out all the black. It doesn't matter. They've created enough middle class people that's still sniping. They'll start raiding. They have. They start you know, preying on the middle class. The system eats itself out. The people on top do not care. There's enough people for them to, eat, to be eaten. And then by the time you catch up to the, those people on top, they don't care. They've been yachting it and whatever have you. Say, okay, take. I had a beautiful life. Just go ahead and take me. I'm I'm a 90 years old. You know, with a with a with a 30 year old wife. I'm I'm cool. You know what I mean? That that kind of thing. Anyway, so, so let me stop talking. <coughs> it's a Saturday afternoon, and my wife is calling me. Anyway. Uh, me being T from the Patterson Technic Train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect from a desk of the ADOS. I'll fight. I'll fight. American descendants of chattel slavery have a fight. They got to win. Stay away from the white man's ideas. <laughs>